in all forms can lead to some pretty serious problems. And with newer forms of smoking like e-cigarettes and disposable vapes, those problems are hitting young adults and it's coming at a bad time in development. Yeah, absolutely. Walid Alamla joins us now live in studio with more on what these smoking products are doing to young minds and bodies. Hey, Walid. Hey guys, nicotine is one of the many chemicals used in these vapes and e-cigarettes. E and according to the CDC, it can also harm parts of the brain that control attention, learning, mood, and impulse control. Because these vapes are tobacco free, that gives the impression that they are healthy. But that's not the case. E-cigarettes contain nicotine, sometimes at levels near or exceeding the amount found in a full pack of cigarettes, according to Truth Initiative, a health organization dedicated to teaching kids about the dangers of smoking. Knowing the effects of nicotine, knowing the effects of, that nicotine can have on the brain, it's important to teach these young adults about the dangers that these vaping products can have, not only on our bodies, but our mental health as well. Um, and when it reaches the brain, it shoots up dopamine levels, right? So you get about 30 minutes of like feeling really, really good. Um, but then after it dissipates, that dopamine level drops and you start to feel pretty gross, right? Um, and you want to feel that feel good feeling again. And that's what continues the usage. Now what's happening with the adolescent brain is that it's actually changing the way the brain is developing, kind of changing the way the wires are crossing. And what we're seeing is um, a lot of statistics showing that it's actually worsening mental health issues. And coming up, we'll talk about how a lot of these smoking products are being geared towards kids with their names and flavors. Ooh. Yeah, I'm happy you said that. That's true. I mean, when you're looking at it being like, as you mentioned earlier, cotton candy, mm -hmm. cherry, lemon. And like, it smells good. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. For sure. And then when your friend tries it, it's like, hey, look how good this is. And they're, they're readily available everywhere. You everywhere, see them yeah. everywhere. Mm. Well, Lee, this is an, a very important story, and uh, coming up, you're going to be talking more about those tempting flavors yeah. and names, right? Yes, definitely. We got a couple of the names, and we'll see how a couple of them are looking as well, too, because you saw earlier, they're very inconspicuous, and yeah. they're really easy to hide, too, so it's just a very easy process altogether. What right. to be looking out for. All right, well, stay tuned. Thank you, Waleed. Coming up.